I thought, why don't I develop the shortest definition that is possible, which I'm sure all speakers will disagree, so that's a good start. Uh, for me, the commons, it's about uh, care-based governance of what we share. La première chose à dire, c'est que partout dans le monde, des individus, des groupes, des sociétés ont trouvé dans le lexique, dans le concept de commun, la marque de la résistance au néolibéralisme. The mix between uh, the ongoing process of privatization uh, and uh, mm, the crisis um, accelerate w w this uh, kind of urban movements. Um, so I, I can't say that directly the crisis uh, generate uh, mm. this kind of movement, but of course it was one of the main causes of the uh, acceleration process to reappropriate uh, of a lot of uh, urban space. We now have common space capitalism. I think that it's very important to understand that. And what they do is like the Ubers and the Airbnbs, but also the IBMs is they let us produce the commons or exchange peer to peer on a marketplace, but they capture the value. And so, you know, that's for me then a new form of cla class struggle. So you have the old class struggle, of course, still exists and is still dominant. But within that, there's a new struggle. Um, and so the struggle is around capture. Yeah, from a political point of view, I think I think we have to we have to value the commons when it's something which comes from the people and allows the liberation of resources and using those resources in common. But I think we have to be very careful when it looks like opportunities are being offered, which is actually a, a political ploy. There is an ambiguity in the in the idea of commons, so we have to to at, at the moment to be able to make a clear distinction between practices that uh, open and redistribute values and powers uh, and practices that um, are um, able to be copted in a neoliberal way. If we want to follow this model and have 100% organic agriculture in France, they need 12% of the people in the countryside instead of 2%. So at a time where the left is losing blue-collar workers, uh, where these people are voting uh, for the radical right, I think we can use the commons as a political tool uh, to create an economy that actually gives not just geeks and their laptops, but actually people who make stuff and who grow things uh, we can actually build a new commons-based economy. Commun, c'est un principe politique qui ne renvoie pas à des réalités anciennes, archaïques ou traditionnelles. Commun, commons, ne veut pas dire communauté traditionnelle avec leur hiérarchie, leur principe d'exclusion, leur principe de domination et d'exploitation. Commun est un principe politique, c'est une perspective politique. Et c'était très important de le, de le dire, parce que dans de nombreux endroits, je pense au, au Chiapas, au Mexique, on a des mobilisations de communautés, non pas sur d'anciens principes, mais sur de nouveaux principes démocratiques. I think what's wonderful about the Commons actually is that it encourages you, that childlike part of you to come back. And when you're involved in these kinds of um, alternative economic forms, it feels so good because there's something inherent in us as humans, I believe. I mean, I'm hopelessly idealistic about this, but I do believe that when you're, when you're not being selfish and when you're with a community of people who are acting for the common good, it makes you feel good. And th that experience is so powerful. And that's why I would encourage people to get involved in this sort of activity. Right